On social media these days, we see so many things, especially places like Instagram, where the whole platform is based on sending pictures with each other back and forth. And what social media is very good at is it's very good at taking attention away from you and onto other people. The brain is the foundation of all things in life. All the emotions we have, all the thoughts we have, they all come directly from the brain. Think about it. Can you feel happy without the brain? Can you feel sad without the brain? Can you feel health without the brain? And can you also feel peace without the brain? The brain is so, so important, yet not many people know about the true powers that the brain possesses. Do you know what your brain feeds on? For example, your body grows and gets nourished by the food that you eat for every meal, right? But the brain is a little bit different. No matter how many expensive steaks or fancy dinners or, or the quantity of food that you eat, do you get any smarter? Does your brain get any bigger and healthier just by eating alone? No, then that means there's something else that powers the brain. What can that be? What the brain feeds on is information. So what is information? Information basically is things that we take into our bodies using our five senses. So the things we see, the things we hear, smell, taste, and touch all enter our body and gets processed by the brain and stays as information. And of course, knowledge and things that you learn from experiences or in school or memories, all those things also feed the brain as well. But out of all these senses, there's one that is particularly influential in creating information in your brain and that is visual things. Did you know that 90% of the information that comes into your brain is fed by visual stimuli? So that means everything that you see, 90% of how you perceive the world and the ideas and things that are processed by your brain, 90% come from the things you see. So that leads me to talk about our next thing, which is social media. On social media these days, we see so many things, especially places like Instagram, where the whole platform is based on sending pictures with each other back and forth. So many pictures that we see and consume every day through social media. Social media is such a big influence on our culture today. There's no denying that. Last year alone, influencer marketing has risen to become a market of $1.7 billion in 2018. And the key term influencer marketing just keeps growing as the time goes by. And what social media is very good at is it's very good at taking attention away from you and onto other people. It's flooded with images of people in perfect bikini, swimsuit, perfect bodies, and taking lavish vacations, and riding expensive cars, going to fancy places that are not realistic. There are some people out there that just go to places just to take a picture for Instagram. But what happens when young people who are very influenced by these images, what happens when we consume so many pictures like this every single day, for hours and hours and hours. They say that nowadays, loneliness, depression, and anxiety, and suicide rates are the highest yet in the youth population than we've ever seen before. And I believe a big part of that has to do with social media. A lot of policymakers, a lot of people talk about creating peace in our world, but no one really talks about the influence of social media and how that affects the peace we feel inside, which directly correlates to the peace we create outside of ourselves. So when you see an image on Instagram, what your brain does is that it converts this to feed your brain. So when you see an image of a perfect body bikini model, which is probably edited a 10,000 times anyway, if you see that picture, then what happens is young people compare themselves to these unrealistic images and they say, I am fat compared to her, I am ugly compared to her, I am not as rich as this guy, my life is worse than this person's, and you keep telling yourself negative information because you are trying to compare yourself to something that's not realistic. So can you imagine what happens when we consume this kind of information for our brain for hours, days, 
weeks, months, and even years. It's no wonder that our young people are more depressed, lonely, anxious, and think of suicide more often than ever. Because according to those images, we will never be good enough compared to these people. If your brain was full of this kind of information, do you think you can really be healthy? Do you think you can really be happy? And do you think you can really feel peaceful? So in a world that's inundated with this kind of content, what can we do? What kind of steps can we take to create peace inside? So I believe that if you have a social media account, everyone is a content creator. And I believe that as a content creator, you need to put out positive information that feeds positive things to people's brains. Will you give someone healthy food for their brain or will you give someone junk food for their brain? So one, content creators need to create positive information that give power back to the people. And two, the consumers need to support people who produce the positive contents. So I want to read to you a really good quote that I have from the Dalai Lama. So the Dalai Lama says, The planet does not need more successful people. The planet desperately needs more peacemakers, healers, restorers, storytellers, and lovers of all kinds. So we say, take back your brain on Brain Education TV because we want to feed your brain with good, positive information that helps you create health, happiness, and peace in your life. I believe in our culture and society today, the youth need this more than ever. Positive content, positive information to feed their brains in a healthy way. Things that you see, things that you hear, taste, smell, touch, anything that empowers our youth to take back their power and create health, happiness, and peace on their own. Our goal is to lift up the next generation of leaders. That is the mission and spirit of Brain Education TV, giving back and serving the world. This kind of content and information is basically what I wish someone told me when I was in school, elementary school, middle school, high school, and even in my 20s. So what can you do now? Social media responsibly. Know that each piece of content that you consume is food for your brain, information that directly feeds your brain. So choose wisely what you let into your life and what kind of images and contents you consume. Take back your brain. You are the master of your life. And with that mastership, you can create and alter your destiny. So if you want to consume good content, good information, and good food for your brain, subscribe to this channel, like, comment, we read all the comments, and watch the videos to take back your brain and grow your brain positively.